Then we have a gradient transform tool hidden under the free transform tool. To have the option to use this gradient transform tool, you will have first to apply a gradient to this shape. So let's just quickly apply a gradient, click on paint bucket tool, and here just click on this black rectangle and choose a gradient. You have just five or six gradients at the bottom of the list, so let's just choose this one. And then just click in the middle of the object and you can see you change the color to a gradient one. Now click on the gradient tool. So click and hold the left mouse button and then ju just select gradient tool. After you select the gradient transform tool go and click in the object and you will see a circle. So you can move the, the this circle and you can see you are changing the strength of the color of the transition because gradient basically that's the transition of two or more colors so you can move the circle you can readjust the circle so you can resize it with clicking on this arrow you can rotate it with clicking on this white circle and you can resize it and adjust it on the way you like. If you click on this icon, you, you will change the size of the circle. And again, if you want to rotate, you just use this rotation icon. And when you are finished, just click away and you have adjusted the gradient with gradient transform tool. So now let's just continue with next tool. With this tool you can simply rotate your 3D objects in Flash Professional. If you didn't notice, you can see the black triangle at the bottom right corner. That means that you, have, that you can choose from a bunch of more tools, or at least from one more tool. So click and hold the left mouse button at the icon, and you can choose from another additional tool. With the 3D translation tool, you can just move your 3D object left, right, up, down. Then we have a next tool, which is Laso tool. With Laso tool, you can just select the object. You can just click and draw a selection and then just release it. And the program will select that selection you just draw. You have additional options down here. If you click on polygon mode, you can uh, make a selection with straight lines. So just click and move the, the cursor and click again, move it and click again, so on. When you come to end, you will have to double click and you, can, and you made another selection. You have down here a magic wand tool but I won't be dealing with that right now. Now let's just continue with next tool. The next tool is pen tool. I will just quickly delete this shape over here and select the pen tool. You can see again the black triangle at the bottom right corner. That means that you have a bunch of other options under this one. But first let's just select the pen tool. With pen tool you can make objects with clicking and moving the pen. So first click, then move the pen on the other place and, and then again click. And again click. With that process you are making just straight lines. If you click and move mouse, you can make other complex shapes. So click and move. And then again you can click and move and you can make complex shapes with pen tool easily. When you want to complete the shape just go to the first anchor point that you created at the beginning and just click in it and it will close the shape and it will create the shape for you. 
Now, if you want to readjust the shape, again, you can use the sub-selection tool, as we explained it before, and just go to these anchor points, and it, if you see the white rectangle under the cursor, you can readjust it. If you see the black rectangle, you can, you can move the whole object. You can readjust the shape of the object with, with a selection tool also, like we showed before. If you move the cursor on the line and the cursor will change, the curvy line will be under the cursor, then just click with left mouse button and move that line and readjust the shape. Then we have a bunch of other options under the pen tool. If you click and hold the selection, you can choose from add anchor point, delete anchor point, and convert anchor point tool. First, let's choose the add anchor point. That is pretty much obvious. You can add some more anchor points to, to your shape so that you have more options. So let's just add a few more anchor points. Now, when you add the anchor point, you have the ability to move the shape from that new anchor point. So you have a few more possibility to uh, readjust the shape of the object. Then we have delete anchor points. That is pretty much obvious. You can delete anchor points. And the last one is convert anchor points tool. That is just the the option to readjust the shape. If you click on it, I mean, you can move it easily. So this is pretty much everything about pen.